Okay. Now, here's an example of what I was talking about. Okay, they just traded queens on C6. This was a very sharp, complicated King's Indian. And the engine says white is better because white has an exchange for a pawn, but it's not easy to win. Uh, Naifa gave five subs. Thank you. Okay. Now, the engine says uh, white's up like 0 0.5, 0 0.6. He's up in exchange for a pawn. This is a beautiful knight. And black can just sort of chill. Rook e6, bishop f8, and just sit there. And it's hard for white to do anything. Um, I guess if two supercomputers are playing, white would win in like 70 more moves. If two grandmasters who were really good were playing, I don't know if white would win or draw. Probably white would win. Maybe. Okay. <clears throat> However, black is not a grandmaster. White is. Now, black, this is very strange. I played him. And let me tell you how I played him. I played him in the UAE. In the UAE, I played in a team tournament, and we were knocked out. When we were knocked out, we were allowed to play in the open tournament and start late and get, like, half-point buys or something. So I played this guy... I won a really long end game, and then me and Akobian and his wife, we wanted to go to Dubai and hang out and not stay in Alain and play in this dumb tournament. So we withdrew. We went to we went to Dubai for a couple days. So I only played one game in the open tournament. It was against him, and I ended up winning a really long end game. Now, <clears throat> here Black made like a beginner's blunder, and he's like twenty four hundred feet AIM. But it's move 43. They've played for four hours. They made the time control. Everybody's exhausted. And, you know, he blundered. This threat wasn't available last move, but it just happened because of the pawn takes. Now, if you were doing puzzle battle, puzzle rush, tactics trainer, and this position popped up, you would solve it quickly. Well, I don't know about you guys, but most of you. And this guy would also solve it quickly. But it, it's not puzzle rush. It's it's a real game. It's real life. So, I mean, E4 is just double question mark. Yeah, I mean, if you miss one thing, the game's over. I'm sure you guys all have it, etc. Yeah, Rick, Rick takes D6 and he resigns. The game ended in one move after, you know, three and a half, four hours of battling, and he's slightly worse the whole game. He makes a one-move blunder. And being able to keep your wits about you and defend when you've been worse the whole game against a higher-rated player, it's easy to say, but it's hard to do. Random Bulldog upgraded. The more you upgrade, the more money I get. Yeah. Right, and people do that all the time. They play, you know, they're they get a draw and ending. They've been fighting for hours and hours and hours. Then they make a move and resign. I can show you twenty of my games, ten by me and ten by my opponent, where it was a really hard game, and then between move forty and sixty, one of us made the worst move ever and resigned. And you're like, damn, that was a waste of five hours. But, you know. What are you going to do? And the better you get at chess and the higher rated you get and the stronger you get, the less you blunder in these tough positions. So a lot of these super grandmasters, they draw and win bad positions because they're good at that. That's why their rating is high. They don't just give up like Kasparov. Now, obviously, I'm teasing Kasparov the last few days for obvious reasons. But forget about his play. He didn't play well. Forget about his speed. He played too slow. Okay. He's all doesn't play anymore. That's fine. Okay. What he did that's unforgivable. Like if he was his own coach, if a clone of him was his coach, it's unforgivable that he's resigning early in blitz games. Super GMs don't do that. They don't resign early, especially in a blitz game. Right. They fight, 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 fight. He had no fight in him. He's like, oh, my position's bad. I resign. I mean, that's ridiculous. 
His resignation against Korobov is absurd. He shouldn't have resigned against Geary. He shouldn't have resigned. There were like four games he shouldn't have resigned. He might have lost all four, but nobody else in that tournament was resigning those positions. Shouldn't have resigned against the Pomniachi, even though he's dead. Shouldn't resign on move seven. He shouldn't resign. Yeah. So yeah, he lost his fighting spirit, which is, you know, that's, I mean, that's what he's known for. I mean, he fights. I mean, calculates well and you know, used to play a ton of theory and play super active and get active games and not draw very much. And when you're like, oh, I'm worse, I resign. That's, that's, that's not Kasparov, that's somebody else. Now, obviously, he's going to play worse than he used to. He's old. He's going to play slower than he used to. Okay. But resigning when he's worse or thinks he's lost in a blitz game? Come on. You resign a blitz game when it's over. You don't see, like, Andrew Tang and Naraditsky resigning blitz games and bullet games. They're getting checkmated. They, you know, Eric Rose and Oh No My Queen, they get stalemated. I mean, you have, they have the fighting spirit, and, you, you know, when you're just like, I resign, I move 10 and 15. You know, you can't do that. Ridiculous. Right. Yeah, he's just resigning early. Resigning against Korobov was weird. His position wasn't good, but it's not, he wouldn't even consider resigning it. It's a blitz game. It's not like, you know, 40 moves in two hours where he still wouldn't resign. He's resigning in a blitz game because he's strategically lost. Like, so what? Yeah. Always resign. Right. Yeah, I mean, he lost his fighting spirit. That's, you know. Yeah. And basically, if you want to be top 10, top 20 in the world, and you have these bad positions... You gotta defend like a monster, like Leiko, like Karpov, uh, like etc., like Red, like uh, Karyakin. You can't be like go in here and then you resign. That's that's why you never heard of the guy, because you know the guy's you know one move blunder.